Hi, I'm Tack. Welcome to Knack Tack 910. Measuring Link. In our previous lesson, we learned different units for the measurement of link. In today's lesson, let's learn how we actually measure lengths in these units. Say, for example, you have a book and ask to measure its length in centimeters. How can you do that? Ah! I don't know. Maybe look for a ruler or something. Yeah, exactly. We learned that we can measure lengths using our foot span, hand span, or cubit, etc. But they're not accurate. So for this reason, we need something standard for more accurate measurement. A very common instrument we use for measurement is a ruler. Usually, a ruler is used to measure centimeters, like small objects. For example, notebooks, pencils, bottles, etc. Most rulers come with two measurements, metrics, centimeters, and inches. Rulers are made usually in lengths of 15 centimeters and 30 centimeters. Let's try measuring something together. Look at the centimeter on ruler. Some have both inches and centimeters marked on them. Make sure the side says centimeters. The other side of the ruler will show inches. Place one of the object on the zero mark. Look at the other end of the object. Note the centimeter reading. If the reading shows 15, then it means 15 centimeters. Even millimeter can be conveniently measured by using a ruler labeled with the millimeter markings. Measurement using metric ruler. Look at the unmarked lines on a ruler. The numbered lines correspond to centimeters, while the unmarked lines indicate millimeters. If you look closely, you will notice that there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. Now, look at the zero end of the ruler and then count each individual unmarked lines. If you count five lines, it means five millimeters. We measure millimeters and centimeters, but how do I measure meters? There is a meter stick to measure a meter. Meter stick usually measures one meter, which means 100 centimeters. These are usually used to measure fabric and meters. We use yards and the US meters in the metric system. Place a meter scale along the object so the zero mark on the meter scale concedes with the other side of the object, indicating the length of the object. We can even use measuring tapes, which are flexible rulers. These are used to measure lengths over 100 meters. Math is easy and fun when you know your concepts, with just a little practice. Like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell for more fun videos. Make sure you share it with your friends and family to have math fun.